So my talk is uh, Light Table, the strange and wonderful saga of a pure closer editor. It's a dramatic topic I took from uh, Andreas Thompson's book on Hells Angels. So namaste. My name is Pradeep Karki. I'm from Kathmandu, Nepal. This is basically Nepal. So when you think of Nepal, this is the beautiful scenery you can think of. And uh, I've been asked to indoor, so I might forget later. So uh, there's a conference called Wave Weekend Kathmandu, and um, and another conference called Front End Reunited. And this is the guy that asked me to indoor, so I just kept his image there. And you can just scan the QR code if you are uh, if you are interested to give their a talk there. So I'm a software engineer at Leafrock Technology, uh, but I do not work in Closer at th that company. I work on Python, JavaScript, and um, some Ruby programs. So I was a Summer of Code 18 student, and I worked on uh, Git Rebase. I, I converted the cell script to C, so there was some performance improvement during that rewrite. And then in 19, I volunteered to maintain Light Table, which I got. But the question remains, like, why maintain it? Why revive? It has, it has not seen a perfect release since 2015. And uh, in, even in the release of 2015, there was no new concepts, no new things on that. There, it was only a maintenance release. So people always ask, isn't it dead? But here's a survey I took, uh, I took in my office. Uh, when I when I was planning to give a talk, so you can see here there are few Emacs users only only one that is me, <laughs> and uh, there are lots of uh, Visual Studio users, uh, v uh, VS Code users, and uh, IntelliJ users, and some Sublime Text users, and it can be seen that people are trying different things. Like v everybody, VS Code seems perfect for a lot of things, and most people think that it is being used everywhere, but there are people who are using Sublime Text. There are people who are using Vim, but uh, not much Emacs. But <laughs> it's, people are experimenting with different things. And people have different goals. The universe doesn't have to make sense to you. Like, everybody shouldn't use the same tool. And I get certain requests requests on Gitter like this. Like, some people is trying, uh, some person is trying closer, but uh, he doesn't want to use Emacs. And there is some problem trying to teach people both Closer and Emacs. And then again, every other editor doesn't have perfect uh, beginner concepts like Light Table. And uh, this was written by Yoktos. His uh, real name is Dmitry Sotnikov. He's the creator of Luminous, and uh, he's a writer of web development in Closer. He got optimistic on, um, on the recent, recent working on Light Table. And uh, when I posted. Uh, a blog last year, this was the <laughs> comment I received on uh, Hacker News, like, thanks for doing God's work, how hard <laughs> it would be to get uh, it running. And people have different things they want extra from Light Table. I mean, getting the Light Table to be a stable release is hard enough. People already have feature requests. So something funny happened in 2019 Stack Overflow survey. Light Table appeared as a 0.2% user survey, Light Table. I mean, I don't even know who uses this light table, but there were some. And uh, it, of course, Emacs is a few. There are a few users who use Emacs also. So this is a free range talk, which I mean is I'll be jumping to different concepts. I'll be jumping to different things uh, randomly. I don't have a kind of flow. I'm a spontaneous person. So please bear with me. Uh, this is my first time in India. This is my second conference talk as a speaker. And this is my first international conference. So in my talk, I'll try to cover things about Light Table. Then I'll try to think, uh, talk about the new tricks it can do, go through or it can learn. And the third thing is I want you to believe. I want you to believe in certain things. So 2012 was an interesting year. Interesting things were happening in 2012. Like this. Chris Granger wrote a post, Light Table, a new ID concept, and it showed some really good promise. Like People's minds were blown by that. And uh, it became the 
biggest Kickstarter project. I think it was in top 10 Kickstarter project uh, of all time. And uh, he had some great concepts. And uh, the editors before that were only, the editor that uh, before that were only advanced were like Emacs and Vim and other editors weren't present. Like VS Code was uh, also being developed. And uh, other were, other things were that were available were only IDEs, and IDEs are pretty heavy. And uh, there was first a real release of Closure Script, real as in uh, there uh, it doesn't the release before this doesn't have any versioning listed on the uh, Closure Script website. So while this was happening, something was happening in Kathmandu, Nepal too. Skyrim was happening. I was playing Skyrim a lot in Kathmandu while Light Table was being released. And then on October 1st, 2014, Chris Granger moved on from Light Table. He, star he started a blog uh, on Eve and he, arose, he told about new concepts that can grow, go through. And uh, he said that Light Table was kind of finished and he wanted certain things from Light Table and he couldn't do that. And so he will try to do those things with Eve. And while that was happening, I was doing some C. I wasn't doing any closer. So, but uh, the thing happened is he didn't uh, work a lot on Eve. He wrote some Eve concepts and then he moved on. So it was good old times when the light table first appeared. There were some uh, language changes. There were little language changes and uh, there was, uh, it was all stable. JavaScript was much more stable. And, but now it's all going too fast. There are much more new releases, and the JavaScript ecosystem is turning to be very difficult. Uh, the Electron versioning uh, thing is also turning out to be very difficult, and it's, it's all too complicated for now. So this was the last release on 08.1, that is uh, on January 22, 2016, and uh, it mostly was bug fixes and stuff. And Closer Script doesn't have a lot of breaking changes. Uh, even if you jump, uh, if you take light table and just bump its closer script version from uh, 0.02138 to uh, maybe like version one, you wouldn't have to write too much closer script. But the libraries, it depends on the JS ecosystem. It builds on the libraries, everything that it has to call from JS. There are breakages, and so in a way, your closer script code also doesn't work. And people also think that. A version, anything ver less than version one is not reliable. And if if your software is built on uh, less than version one, that is, if your production so uh, softwares are written on that, you would also think differently. But LT Light Table has some awesome features and uh, some awesome to dos too. It has thing, it had things like watches, where you could just watch a function, or in this case, a JavaScript function. And you could do inline evaluation, which are the cool things. And um, it was also a direct inspiration to VS Code as uh, the behaviors and the settings could be synced and it could be inline evaluated and it could be reflected on all the editor features. And uh, it had inline docs, so no need to hover the mouse. Uh, the key bindings would do the work. And it had this awesome concept of bot architecture behavior objects Tags, who here has made some games? Anybody? Have done any game programming? So there's a concept in game programming called component entity system. And uh, Chris Granger was working on games games for some time and he used that concept and he matched to those on behavior object tags. So in object in objects you try to create some things and you just define their role. In behavior you try to define what it does what it does when certain things happen, and tags kind of join them. So it tags, you just join object and its behavior. And uh, some features which never really took off, like drafting table view, and uh, even there was some discussion about LSP, and more things about plugins or better plugin manager. How many people, how many people know about drafting table view? Okay, so it kind of looks like this. So in a drafting table view, you can list all different functions on different uh, different files, and you can just see their structure the way it's flowing, and you can just 
evaluate every code base and you can just flow how the uh, see how the data is flowing in the uh, editor so this was something huge thing he was trying to do but uh, it didn't it wasn't possible at that time he, he made some demo but it wasn't uh, really a production ready material and we have to talk about javascript's ecosystem like light table couldn't get any new release because it was heavily dependent on certain things like electron code mirror and multiple uh, js libraries like the necessary things that are request socket io and it was so coupled to these things like i couldn't even update closer script and uh, just keep those things um, in the old version or i couldn't even update electron and just keep the closer script through old version because they were pretty coupled and everything was had to be compiled to js and the uh, the compilations and the modified things would also have to be modified for new kind of new uh, new updated libraries so i had two options like fixing light table to accept uh, breaking changes every time uh, sorry i had to fixing light table was to um, there was certain breaking uh, changes every time and uh, and working on those breaking changes and working on that it didn't feel magical it it was no lisp like it felt more like working on javascript project because the powerhouse of light table is is this javascript files like the background the behavior parsers the behavior parser is the main thing that when you run uh, inline code evaluation the behavior parser gets called and uh, the uh, when you call inline evaluation different threads start work and that is powered by worker.js and everything the main powerhouse was carried out by this javascript uh, javascript files and this was really problematic and then again there are some plugins and plugins again have to be compiled to javascript and have to write a javascript map at which you had to generate from uh, google closer compiler and again you have to modify it and uh, make it more feasible to the behavior you define this is a, even for the closer uh, plugin you had to compile it to js then other plugins look Py even python compiled js uh, Py even python had to be compiled to js and uh, even the white space behavior even if you have to see the white space on the things you have to compile it to js this was the most indian gif i ever found <laughs> we have to learn and move on we cannot just we cannot just abandon things like we cannot just abandon things so we have to learn we have to see what stuffs went wrong how can we move forward and we have to learn and we have to keep on going so i listed out three things i wanted to learn and i wanted to see in the new light table first was z editor and second cider orcard and third new vim and vs code so the first concept was separate core logic from front end uh, and create a some, something called core and uh, segregate everything like front end should be separate and it could take everything from the core this was from uh, z editor and the already toolings were different provided by orcard uh, thanks to the work of uh, bozider and uh, so we could already use those toolings and uh, we could move on and third is do few things correctly i don't want to compete to compete with vs code we don't want to do a lot of things we only want to do closer and closer script right so the basic concept is decouple everything and everybody has been everybody knows that everybody has been doing that but you have to maintain multiple things now like you have to maintain different front ends and you have to uh, see the core logic too and it's it's a lot of mess so what another approach we can do is we can only focus on one front end and when people request for other things or people start to doing their things we give them the full ownership of the front end they are trying to maintain so this can be this can be an exciting time and new exciting times can be coming we can either get last electron based release some features have to be dropped and just let this light table go and start a new or we can rewrite and release it like we have to take out all those electron stuffs and we can just rewrite the core architecture of light table and try to make it stable and then release it 
And we have to write, if we're following this approach, we have to use more and more closed script li libraries and less JavaScript libraries. Like, uh, we don't want to use React directly. We want to use Reagent and other things more than JS libraries. And we have to chain with CIDR. We have to build, we have to try to make things work for both of us. We have to contribute back the code. We don't want to use certain patches and just mess with the uh, code base. Because we are tired, we don't want to do more patches and stuff like Lighttable already has used lots of toolings, but it has its custom code written there, and it's too difficult. And there's a quote by Steve Jobs, we're here to put a dent in the universe, otherwise why else we even be here? So he's asking everyone to be put a dent in the universe, make some great changes. Uh, and I searched the meaning of dent, and dent means a slight hollow in the hard, even surface made by a blow or pressure. And two projects there are, which doesn't have any corporate backing and only few developers are working on their free time in their weekends. Dent means holes left uncovered. You're, you're only creating hole and you're just leaving it uncovered. So people might fall on that hole and that hole. So what we can do is we don't want to create dent. We don't want to do new stuff. We just want to collaborate and we just want to move on. So this is, um, we have to, we, ha we are trying to learn more from Z editor. There are lots of content, uh, concepts from those uh, from that editor, and there's a video QR, which uh, the QR code has been provided, which which has some awesome concepts uh, by the creator of Z, Z editor who gave it on Recurse Center, who gave a talk on Recurse Center. So, Lighttable's new structure looks more like this. So, directly depending on that editor. So, there will be front end, it will be electron based. And uh, light table core will be there, and everything will be communicating with JSON RPC. And uh, there will be two separation, like there will be syntax plugin, and there will be analysis plugin. And analysis plugin will be, will be working with the REPL, and syntax plugin will only be providing syntax. So, and there was some problem. There is some problem still, like how do I connect uh, the analysis pl plugin to REPL? Like what do I use? The, which protocol do I use? Text or data? Or how do I even manage that? Because um, when I'm using the JSON RPC, I will be provided a JSON kind of uh, data structure, and um, and the analysis plugin already needs to evaluate that from the REPL. And again, I have to send uh, transport the data to the REPL, and it's it's a it's very confusing thing to do. And another concept we are trying to do is we're trying to write the plugin in the same language as the language plugin, which means that if you want to write some Python plugins, then you will be writing it in Python, which is the beautiful concept provided from, uh, from the NeoVim community and uh, even the Z editor. So what they're trying to do is they don't have to, nobody has to write or even in light table. So when I had to, uh, when we had to update Python code, we had to compile it to JS. So if we follow this approach, we don't have to do those things. Like we could write it in plugin. So if somebody wants to work on Elm, they can write the plugin in Elm and they could have everything they want in the Elm architecture. So this concept can be async everything. There is job control and there is API access. This, uh, it, everything works asynchronously, and um, the things have to be controlled. Like uh, there could be different requests which uh, which needs to be uh, observed and killed, and uh, everything every plugin needs to uh, have an API access to uh, use the data transfer protocol. So let me give you a sneak peek. So. By the way, I use Emacs to work on light table, but currently I've been using cursive to open it right now. So the version naming is just different. Okay, so this one uh, I've been using, and now you can see here, Okay. 
so only the closer language is supported right now. And this is more of an experimental thing. So here every time I what I hacked through this for this demo is uh, rather than using the extreme difficult thing that Z editor did or even the NeoVim did was it tries to only use the uh, JSON RPC when there was uh, when the uh, syntax had to be read or when you're uh, writing things. And uh, it was kind of pretty difficult. And for this demo, what I did was I was pulling through everything. I was just sending requests. And uh, as you can see here, requests are populating here. And I was sending uh, every request to the syntax plugin, uh, syntax plugin system, and um, I'd been getting this. And so, okay, this fell down. <laughs> So only the syntax has been supported right now. So yeah, I can just write here code here, and the syntax gets uh, ready. And uh, and every time I have a JSON requests, which okay, wait. Okay which touches different things like utils and uh, uh, even the core and everything. So uh, it's only talking, this this front end uh, was used from the old uh, light tables structure, the electron thing and the CSS thing I used from the old structure, but I used it to connect to the new light table core and it is sending every JSON requests to the new core. And uh, and uh, so uh, everything when, you t when you're typing it, it's asynchronous and uh, and uh, and it's 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 still experimental because um, it needs to only send one request when you're working on some things, and it needs to uh, get the response to that request. But uh, what I did was for this demo was try to send multiple requests, and so so you can see the syntax has been supported. And okay, I can just write another function like hello thing. Hello. And this is hello. This kind of things. So the question is, where's the REPL? Where's the inline evaluation? Where's the thing that Lighttable already had done? The thing is, Lighttable when created those things, like when it created those awesome things like InstaRipple and um, uh, even the closer plugins, uh, closer, closer plugins directly uh, coupled up uh, Ripples. It uses it used old and Ripple platform to uh, from the tools that and Ripple. And what it did was it it uh, it took that tool, it rewrote some code on it, and it was using that. It, it was creating some extra patches around it. But we don't want to do that. We don't want to do any any more stuffs. Like we want to use, we want to use the factory thing. Like we want to use the library we're t we're getting, and then we just want to implement it somehow to make Lightable work. Not work on much more patches. Not make it more interesting. We just want to use the factory things because w if we use extra things, like we're again creating holes. And if the maintainer leaves, if anybody leaves, then it's a hole uncovered. So we're trying to use the end ripple thing now and we'll be using this and um, our code base when the, there are patches or when things need to be amended we'll send the code to upstream and um, we'll no longer be adding stuffs on providing toolings we'll try to if if you are adding code then we'll try to make it to upstream we'll be joining the boiders uh, mornings group uh, where he mentioned that there are some um, editors and other task force so we'll also be joining the task force and and when will when will this be released? When will Lighttable V1 be released? People have been asking this, like this was on May 29. Any news on a re release? I have been getting this kind of uh, queries from GitHub and from emails. And I even wrote a blog post on New Year, New Year same old plans like. Uh, there were some issues. I wanted to help the community know that what I was facing was pretty difficult. And so I'll be following John Carmack's approach. 
where he says when he released Doom, he said that it will be done when it's done, and when when will Doom? It will be shipped when it's done. Otherwise, there's we don't want to keep a new release date. We don't want to do anything. We just will release it when we have QA tested. We have done everything. But there are some new code base, and the new code base have not been open sourced. It's it's on my Git repo and it's in private. And uh, there are some things which I am not particularly fond of, or um, I've been I haven't done right. So what I'll try to do is I'll try to separate out the core things. I wouldn't make this JSON request every time. I would just use it when there's the syntax has to be used, and uh, then I'll open source it. But once I have to figure out the analyzing plugins, and I'll release it. So analyzing plugins need to be done for the end ripple thing, and I need to figure out how to connect those ripples, and I'll be re I'll be releasing the open source code. I'll not be releasing the light table version currently, but I'll be releasing that. So thank you. My name is Pratik. Thank you.